Hi, it's on for another math. Easy. So we're gonna discuss uh, another video on basically um, using Microsoft Word for report writing, etc. And basically how to make a p uh, automated appendix captions. I'll show you what I mean in a bit. Basically, this is a template that I used. I made in my earlier video on, on automated tables and headings, and also I've added uh, in my last video I did an automated appendix. So make sure to watch those videos in the video link below. So basically, what I mean by the figure, I mean appendix figures. Let's say if you were to make a figure first inside or an automated figure using uh, Microsoft Word for it. This is within header three. And then if we just go to references, you can go insert a caption. We'll go uh, include this. So we'll go 3.1. So this is an automated caption right here. So we'll just go, this is just a funny uh, funny little math photo. It's from my website. You can go there, mathesysolutions.com. But anyways, um, this is gonna be, uh, let's just get finish him. So we have this is automatic, automatically appendix 3.1. I'm going to figure 3.1. Go another one 3.2. So based on whatever this 3 is, if we were to go here and then insert caption, it's going to be 2.1, etc. But if we were to go near the appendix, so let's say over here, and then we go, uh, let's go insert caption, it's going to be figure 3.3. So it's this uh, link is linked. To actually the number uh, heading right here, which yeah, I do not want that uh, to happen. I want to be instead. Let's go a a point one for example. So I'll just copy uh, this image right here. Let's delete this actually. So delete that. Copy and paste this here. Put in the center. And, and to do this actually, it's pretty uh, easy. Uh, it's a bit of manual work, but it, it's pretty easy. So you just go to again, go references, insert caption. Just insert the figure, so we don't have to make a new one. So before other people would make a new one, etc. But the problem with that, I'll show that in a bit. So let's go in the center right here, and go. Uh, let's go blah blah blah, etc. So all you do now is just highlight these two numbers, 3.3. .3, right click, edit field, and now field property style name will go actually to yeah the the appendix right here. So it's already there because before it should be header one. I don't know. It should work. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. It worked. Uh, I don't know why it was already it was already set there. So, but just basically make sure it's uh, set there and click preserve uh, formatting during updates. Yeah, I'm not sure why that that was already there, but, but it's usually it's supposed to be like this. So when you go edit field, I don't know why it's not showing. It's on on the left side of the screen. So edit field. This one's supposed to be on heading one. It's, yeah, it's supposed to be on heading one. I don't know why it's showing there. Uh, I'm not too sure. I had to do this for my thesis, but anyways, uh, this is updated now. So you have the always always make sure to click this preserve formatting during updates, because when you, what what happens is you can go click update field and we'll automatically update to it. So to make another one, go insert caption. Again, this is the only manual part you'll need to do, but for each one, it's not, it's not too big of a deal. I don't know how to do it yet, so just go. See, I don't know why it's uh, in the center. Click center. Okay, that's better. Add a feel. So we have that again. Click that. It's already there. Just click preserve and click OK. I don't know why it's already highlighted, but basically, I don't know why this didn't do it. I don't know what, I, what just happened. Edit field. Okay, so this should be good for 5.B.3, B.4. Yeah, I don't know why it's acting a bit funny, but basically, now if we were to make a. Let's click uh, this one here. Click enter, delete this. Okay, so now we just go and uh, insert a table of figures. So we'll include uh, this one right here. So this is a table of figures. And as you can see, 2.1, 3.1, .1, table of figures. And you can make a new page, etc. For And then basically it has all the ones we've had, 2.1, 3.1, and 5. And you have B.3, which is pretty... Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's pretty pretty good. So now we have it all set. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Uh, hopefully, you learned from uh, this little quick one. Just uh, yeah, just don't get frustrated. Sometimes the Microsoft Word is a bit weird. So, but I'll always just right click, edit field, and then click that to preserve formatting. So, so during updates. Well, uh, anyways, that's all for today. Uh, hopefully, you learned from this one, and you never can download this exact Word template in the Dropbox link below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.